So when I first started collecting Famicom games, way back when, I got a good number of them that I had no clue as to how to play them or even what the objective was. I mean, they were all random. Funko Land just sent me what they had left for a flat fee uh, just to get rid of them. So I had to determine by myself how to play them and if they were playable by non-Japanese speakers, like me. And so several games quickly became favorites of mine, and two of them became the only other sports games that I fell in love with, well, besides Super Dodgeball. Yeah, that's a great game. Yeah. <laughs> Yankee J. So these games are really great and a lot of fun. So, welcome to Season 4 for more import games. And don't be scared about playing these imports, because I assure you, of games for this show are going to be a bit odd in that one of them did come out to the US but it fell flat on its face and I feel like it was an okay game. Would have been even better if they hadn't screwed with it. This game is based off of the long time running manga and anime series that started in 1981, Captain Tsubasa. It's the story of a young boy who was absolutely born to play soccer. His teammates trust in him, and they strive to become the best team in all of Japan, with Tsubasa leading them to victory after victory. His dream is to win the FIFA Cup for Japan. His motto is, the ball is my friend, and he is complete natural when it comes to soccer, and he's able to do things with it that astound people. And it was so popular that in 1988, Tecmo released their first game on the Famicom for this manga, simply titled, Captain Tsubasa. In it, you play against several other teams and, well, try to win. I mean, it's a soccer game. Where it becomes unique is how you control your team. Usually in soccer games, you see overhead or two-thirds views, and you control the characters from there. In Captain Tsubasa, you have a small dot that represents your character, and you move that dot as you see opponents converging onto your spot. But you see an animation of the character that has the ball running or catching or doing whatever. So as you make decisions, the game's animations change to reflect what's happening on the field. Very animated. You see silhouettes of the opposing team showing up to stop that character, images of the ball flying, and this really cool animation of the announcer. And when you do come into a confrontation, then you get to choose what shot you will do, and depending on what your skill levels are, and theirs, then you'll either keep the ball or lose it. It's really a trip, and really revolutionary for the time, when soccer games mostly looked like this. So you can see how this would have been really interesting. Now in 1990, Tecmo released the sequel, and it was released with major updates to the graphics, and it really boosted the gameplay, in my opinion. Captain Tsubasa 2, Super Striker. The gameplay that was introduced in the first game continues here with a vengeance and is really fun. Our favorite announcer is back, as is the team from the previous game. The field went sideways, and now you can even see where the players are much better. The character you control is shown flashing on the field, and you can change who you're controlling by pressing the A or B buttons. This is how a sequel should be created, with better graphics, more animations, and improved gameplay. The controls are mostly the same for both games. If someone is shooting into your goal, then you can press the D-pad up to punch the ball away, or left or right to catch it. When on the field, you can move with the D-pad. Don't let the opponent get too close, or it'll be harder to pass, and it might even get stolen away. If you don't have possession of the ball, you can choose players with the A and B buttons. If you do have possession, then the B button brings up your menu for things for you to do. Pressing in a direction will make your decision, and pressing A will make it happen. These are all just some of the situations that might arise. There are others depending on who is closer and what, but these will get you playing the game. You can look to see what a specific member of your team is best at to decide here. And even if you don't know Japanese, just choose what they do best. If you can't do what you want to do, then you can always cancel out by hitting the B button again. Captain Tsubasa 2 has many of the same options and controls, but there are some additional commands. 
try everything out and see what each command does and what works for your style of gameplay. Well, Captain Tsubasa was such a great game and such a hit in Japan that two years after the second game came out in Japan, Tecmo decided to release the first game to the rest of the world as Tecmo Cup Soccer Game. And they changed it. NANI? Yep, they changed it. Alright, the way I make it sound is that they changed the major play aspects of the game when the majority of the changes were actually just to the graphics. Now, some were obvious ones, like the password system. One major change they made, however, was the change that they made to our hero, Tsubasa. They changed him into Robin Fields, a blonde play- oh uh, jeez. They changed the characters on his team to reflect how the rest of the world looks too. And the opposing teams were boosted to be stronger, and are they strong? Ugh. Even the opposing goalies are hot stuff. And you can see I wasn't able to barely skull a goal in the US version, but I made a lot in the Japanese one, and this is the first team that you play against. Yeah, easy my took us! The theme to Captain Tsubasa was changed as well. The side quests for the later games were all taken out, and so characters just join your team automatically. Well, because you need to have a sports game actually be a sports game, and there's no storyline in sports. Why are you crying? There's no storylines? There's no storylines in soccer? Ugh. So it's really no surprise that this game didn't do too well here in the States. But that's not to say that it's a bad game. It's actually still pretty good, even though it's a little bit tougher. And that's probably why they allow you to get the character at the very end, so you can have an easier time. I mean, it doesn't work, but that's probably what they're expecting. Honestly, I want you all to play games that you wouldn't normally think of. And so, to get you interested in the series that could have been, I would suggest that you all seek out Tecmo Cup Soccer Game, because that way, you will be used to controls and the gameplay, and that'll really get you to enjoy Captain Tsubasa 2 Super Striker. The graphics for the two Japanese versions are really fun, with the second being really good, especially for 1990. The second game is simply one of the best for the Famicom, a must-have for the system. You'll have to work out the Japanese kana for yourself for the password, so be careful how you write it. All in all, it's a good game series that needs play. Most of the Captain Tsubasa games from other systems are a lot of fun, but these two will always be my favorites from the series. The English version is good, but it could have been done better. The graphics are not that good for 1992 standards, and so it gets a lower rating for using 1988 graphics. I'm actually wondering if they used the first game instead of the second, because it was easier to make artistic changes. The series has been going on for 30 years now, and we get to watch Subasa grow and play for different teams. Subsequent games have become extremely popular among fans of the anime and of soccer aficionados alike. And well, they're all just good games. Now, the great thing about the first game is that not only can you play an American version if you get the NES copy, just look past all the changes, but you can also play it for free online. Just go to Nintendo8.com and you can play the game on Java. It's a great way to get into this fun game and have a blast until your Famicom version comes in the mail. I mean, you are buying and playing these games, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> show is called You Can Play This, so play this. You can. Ugh, just sounded like Yoda there for a second. Mm, play this game, you can. <laughs>